Moving on to accessory. We are only gonna have time for one set of accessories. So if you do a recording, you can always pause the video and do another set. You're going to need a handled band or a long ribbon if you have those. This is balance. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Bracelets, if you've got handles, hold it forward, arms extended toward the middle of the band. Balance on one leg, do two diagonal pull-aparts, and then switch, lift up, balance, two diagonal pull-aparts the other way. Balance, shoulders, triceps, upper back, one minute, get set up. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Three, two, one, here we go. Up onto one foot, Whoa. two diagonal. Switch. The goal is to be on, wow, balance, not good there today. On one foot the whole time. I'm wobbling, fighting to keep it. There's work in the wobble there. Just don't wobble so much that you tumble, put your foot down before that happens. <laughs> The other thing I have some clients do is stand in like a foyer or in a corner where they can touch walls on both sides. So that way, if they tip, they can just correct and touch the wall and push themselves back up rather than risking a full on fall. <laughs> so consider a spot in your house where you could do that if you need to. <sighs> Almost there. The time of year now on the trails where everything's so dry that there's loose rocks everywhere. Oh, geez. There's Remember, your beep. My balance has saved me on those trails in the last couple of days. Yeah, that's good. Those unexpected changes of terrain. A really good training. You have to be very cautious, obviously. Yes. But we are really looking for those muscles to just kick in. You're going to the floor for the next accessory exercise. You don't need any equipment down here. You'll be on hands and knees to start. We're gonna do bird dog. Tapping under and reaching long. So this is where you're on hands and knees, one arm opposite leg, lift, get your balance, and then you'll tap under, hand to knee, and then reach long. All right, pick a side, one arm up, opposite leg, Find your balance, lift the entire table. Now your abs are working. Here we go, touch under, touch, extend and lift. Don't lift by arching your back. It's not just the arm and the leg, the entire table. So focus on that. It's not about how high you can get. I just want you to feel all the muscles of your core, front, back, sides. And if you lift, there's a little less pressure on it. Supporting hand, push those fingertips into the floor. That will help. It's 30 seconds in three, two, one. There's your beep. Go ahead and sit into a child's pose for a little active rest here. <laughs> Inactive rest, I should say. <laughs> Actual rest. Whew. Back up to hands and knees, opposite side. Arm up, leg up, find the balance. Lift the whole table, 30 seconds, here we go. Touch under and reach. Try to get the arm next to the ear, flex the glute. Think about being really long and lifting through the core. Every time you do a little extra lift, you should feel your ab muscles working to make that happen. Push your fingertips down. Three, two, and one, good rest. Lie on your back for the next one. Before we do that, just a little bit of mobility. Lie on your back, knees are bent, feet off the floor, grab your ankles, pull your knees down towards your armpits. This is a happy baby in yoga, now rock left and right. Nice little mobility recovery between exercises. We're gonna do that X up that I call it. So you're gonna be bringing one arm to the opposite leg, 
you're either curling head and shoulders off the floor or you're doing a full roll up with a twist at the top there. Let's get into position. Let's do the same side. So when I say it, it makes sense. Right leg is bent, left leg is straight on the floor. It'll be right arm and left leg, either that full roll up or elbow to knee. 45 seconds on this side, maybe a bit shorter. Nah, 45 is good. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna do both for the video. So first I'm doing elbow to knee, trying to peel that right shoulder blade up off the floor and a big twist on that. Exhale up or the arm overhead for the full roll up, rolling up onto the left elbow a little bit, control it back down. Exhale through the hard part. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Can't talk through these. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. Switching sides. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight. Left arm and right leg are meeting over the body in three, two, one. Here we go. Exhale up. If you're doing elbow to knee, really turn. You'll be facing the, to the right when you're up there. Stretching that elbow a little past the leg. That's the goal to get a twist, work the obliques. On the roll up, Really reach for the toes on the outside of the foot. Pinky toe. 15 seconds. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, drop your knees to one side, and then the other. Resist the urge to stay there, go side to side. Can't relax yet, we're not done. Moving stretch here. Four, three, two, and one. You're gonna roll onto your stomach. For that back extension, cactus, legs stay down. I'm gonna give a lot of cues because I want it to be on the video. Arms extended overhead, face down. Going in three, two, one, go. Drag the hands back, lift just the upper back, legs stay down, cactus the arms, and then reverse it back to the start position. Tuck your tailbone, reach it down between the legs toward the floor. That will give you some opening in the lower back. It's hard to lift just the torso. <laughs> That's okay. That's normal. A little extra lift on that cactus part. When you lift in that first part, you're not pushing into your hands to get higher. It's all back and glutes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, I want you to flip over onto your back again for set two. Real quick, we'll do that rocking happy baby. So get onto your back, legs up, grab the ankles, pull the knees toward the armpits, and then rock side to side. Okay, legs down, right leg is straight on the floor, left knee is bent. So you're going left arm to right leg in three, two, one. Here we go. Exhale up. It's just as important to control the descent as it is the hard part on the way up. So it's not up and flop. <laughs> Get a lot of extra work on those muscles, controlling it back down. Halfway. Uh, 
I was playing with a new ab exercise yesterday and my abs are sore, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Woo. Switching sides, right knee bent, left leg straight on the floor. Bringing right arm, left leg over the body in three, two, one, go. Controlled, deliberate movements. I remember the days of like harder, faster, more. And it was hard, it was challenging, but all it meant was that your form went to heck really quickly. <laughs> and you get burnt out a lot easier and hurt a lot easier. Three, two, one. Good, rest. <laughs> Drop your knees side to side. About four times each side moving, twist. I'm debating if we do a step three or if I record a stretch or both. All right, lying on your stomach, back extension, cactus arms. Arms extended, face down, tail between your legs, reaching for the floor, feel a little opening in the lower back. Three, two, one, go. Upper back comes up. Cactus the arms, set the arms down and lower down. I get my timer in a place where I can see it and it's not right under my face. <laughs> Woo, I feel hard, 15 seconds. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and press yourself up. Come to hands and knees, and I want you to do cat cow. So I'm gonna do a stretch. If you're doing the video, you can always pause and do set three. Cat cow for 30 seconds here. Wave between the two. Oh yeah, feel that, I need that. <laughs> Eight seconds more, then we'll stretch inner thigh. Here's your beep. Staying on hands and knees, one leg goes straight out to the side. We've done this one in the past. Slide that out, get nice and open till you feel a good stretch. Now rock forward and back five times. Two, three, four, five. Now sit back toward the heels, lean back, go to your elbows. If you need it to be deeper, hold here. And then press up out of that and switch sides. Other leg out to the side, slide open as much as you need to, rock forward and back. Five, four, three, two, one. Lean back, hips toward that heel, elbows if you need to make it deeper. Deep breaths. And nice and easy up out of this. All right, new stretch. This one can be a little bit intense. 
I want you to be up on your knees. Hands off the floor, so you're up right here. And now I want you to kind of do airplane arms and then tip to one side, tap your heel and hold here. So this arm up toward the ceiling is really reaching. Opening up the front and those obliques that we hit in the abs, you can gently push your hips forward a little bit more to get a deeper arch. And carefully up on out of that. Now I want you to go to hands and knees and just do a quick cat cow, just because that back feels a little intense in that position for some of us. And then come back up so we can do the other side, airplane the arms and then tip to the other foot, the arm reaching toward the ceiling. Give that a big reach so you're not just reaching back for that heel, you're also reaching toward the ceiling. Gently push the hips and even the bottom ribs toward the forward here. And relax out of that. I want you to go ahead and sit on the floor, legs open wide. And then I want you to lean down into the center. Some people find it better to push from behind here. I want you to tip your hip bones toward the floor there. Not just about your face getting low, but the entire pelvis tips. And then think about having some length in your back. Not super rounded. And go ahead and sit up. Sit with legs crossed or whatever is comfortable for you. I want you to take one arm, reach it across the body, hold it with the opposite hand, gently pull it in. This will get the shoulders and upper back that we worked. And then same thing, other arm. And then I want you to lace your fingers together and turn so palms face forward, extend your arms forward, separate your shoulder blades a little bit, rounding through the back, get a little stretch through the upper back. And then sit tall in this position, put your shoulder blades back where they belong, and then lift those arms up overhead. Palms will be facing the ceiling now, Big stretch there, down through the tricep area. Arms come down. We're all done for today. Thank you, thank you. We recorded.